Welcome to Sargo Education. In this video, you will learn to determine the LCM of sum of numbers. In our previous video, you will learn prime multiple method of LCM. If you don't know what is prime multiple method of LCM, please see our previous video. Video link you will got in description this video. Today we will learn Euclid method of LCM. Here we take some numbers 12, 18, 20 and 105. Now we write 12, 18, 20, 105. Now we determine their LCM. We see these three numbers can be divided by 2, but 105 is not. You will remind that for determining ACF, you can took a smallest number by which you can divide all of them numbers. But for determining LCM, it is not mandatory how many numbers can be divided by the least number. If only two numbers can be divided in list number, you can took this number. Okay, here in three numbers, we can divide by two. So we here took two. And after divide by 12 by two, we get six. Divide by 18, two, we get nine. Divide 20, we get 10. And 105 as so remaining. Again, we take another list number. We see here 6, 10 can be divided by 2. So we can do 2. After divide we get here 3, 9 remaining. This is 5 and 105 is also remaining. Now see these numbers. 5 and 105 can be divided by 5. Again, 3, 9 can be divided by 3. So, and 105 also. So, we take here 3 as a list number and divide the numbers. In 3, 3 goes once time and nine go, in 9, 3 goes 3 times. 5 is remaining and 105, it is 35 times. Now, 5 and 35 can divide by 5. So we take 5 here. 1 is 1 and 3 it is 3 and 5 goes once time and 35 goes 7 time. So the required LCM LCM is that is we take this number in ACF we take only these numbers but in LCM we took these numbers and these numbers also. So we write 2 into 2 into 3 twice time 3 here and 1 3 is here and 5 ones and 7 is ones. After multiplying all these numbers we get the result is 1 2 6 0. So in this way you can determine the LCM by Euclid method. I think you understand this Euclid method. Please do comment, like and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.